Today in Marvel Snap, I'm going to show you guys the deck that got me to Infinite. Two things. I have another YouTube channel called Card Kage where I focus on making the decks and showing them off all together. Feel free to check that out. And second thing, we've actually already showed the deck before, or rather I've already shown the deck before. The only difference is that this time I'm going to try to get more games in because I don't know if you know this, but Infinite is one of the things that it's not the easiest to get a game in the earlier you're in Infinite because of the fact that there are going to be a lot of quote-unquote bots and whatnot. But tonight's different. We are going to get some games in, shall we? We're going or at least get to show you guys the full mechanics of the deck. So you should understand how it works completely after this. So, yeah. Let's get to it. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, that was interesting. No one had anything 10-1, but you know, they always try to go for as good. Okay, it looks like we may have to have this video skip. Yeah, because I don't know. They didn't play anything. 10, 1 to 10, 2. Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe there are actually players. So we don't have to skip it, maybe. I thought they might be Agatha. That's why I was thinking skipping it. Or rather, I thought they would be a bot. But no, it looks like they're an actual player. They just didn't have a 10, 1 or 10, 2 play. See? They, they're an actual player. I can, I can see that now. Okay. Okay, so we are going to do this. This will actually work okay for us, hopefully. Because the Jubilee should set up the Negasonic. And then we will get a card. Okay, the Jubilee... Becomes Mockingbird. Oh yeah. Let's go. Okay, and this is the final turn. We haven't done anything with our final turn. Okay, and that is not good for us, but this is good for us. So we are going to go ahead, do that. Play Nocturne. Okay. That should be okay because we turned off Claw. And let they have a... Okay, Devil Dino. They weren't expecting us to win this. Okay, that was a fun first game. Honestly, you know, player, I apologize. I thought you were a bot at first, but it doesn't look like you're a bot because that play would have won if I didn't have... Red Guardian or anything. So, you know what? This is a good game. I'm keeping it. We're off to a good start, guys. Hopefully, you guys got to see a little bit of what the deck can do. So, yeah. On to the next one. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do, which is play Cable. Yeah, I'm going to play Cable here so we can... Get Cable's effect. Ooh, they thought I was going to play a card in the mid, which would have been a safe bet, honestly. But, ooh, Infinite. I <laughs> don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. We're also going to go ahead and... Okay, I instantly regret playing Zemo there. For multiple reasons. Okay, Medusa agent. Wait, does this mean they are most likely a, uh, um, what's it called? Loki deck. I mean, they could be a Loki deck. I'm gonna go ahead, play Ho Ho, actually. 
actually thinking about it. I'm going to play this here because this is a fun little interaction here. Okay. And this will have her change the location. Leech, I'm perfectly chill with Leech on this play. This deck isn't really affected by Leech, if I'm being honest. Like, not at all. This, this deck just isn't affected by Leech. Well, I mean, of course, there are some cards I'd love to play, like Spider Woman or Red Guardian, but it's perfectly fine. Okay, I guess I'm glad they leaked my Spider Woman. Oh, no, they leaked their Spider Woman. I got my Spider Woman right here. I completely forgot about that guy. <laughs> completely and utterly forgot about the Spider Woman. <laughs> ah, and they retreated. Okay, because they saw that I had Spider-Woman. They didn't know I drew my Spider-Woman. So, you know, they kind of, they knew I had at least an eight power card. So, you know, whichever lane they picked, they were too far behind. So, that was another good game, guys. I, I am liking this. We finally reached the point where more people are in the pool, so I'm able to show you guys the appeal of the deck a little bit more. So, yeah, because I know some of you guys had to have not been satisfied by the last game. So, yeah, on to the next one. And by last game, I of course mean last video. I did do another video on the deck when I, the first day I got to Infinite, but I was literally surrounded by alleged bots and whatnot. I say alleged because I'm not really sure because they say that there are no bots in the Infinite, so I'm not entirely sure about that. But it looks like this will be a promising game either which way. So that is cool. I'm going to keep Jeff here because Jeff here is pretty chill because even after, yeah. Okay. Um, Baron Zemo, I guess. Right. Baron Zemo is going to get dragged there. So I guess it really won't matter in the end. Okay, Shauna Hunt. So this deck does play a Shauna type thing, which is interesting. Okay, Spider Ham. Oh, okay, so they were playing Agatha. That's, that's actually interesting that they were playing Agatha. Okay, and then that will go... Wait, did we want to do that? Wait, did we want to... Yes, we did. We wanted to do that. That was the best move. Okay, they retreated. Okay, this game may have not been as strong as the other two because it was an Agatha game, but the other two games were very solid. And, you know, that's always going to be a bot game or two every now and then. Or an Agatha deck. That's what Infinite does a lot. Infinite seems to do that a lot. So, you know what? On to the next one. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Um, my deck is officially destroyed and I don't even have their deck to draw upon. All I have are these cards right here. Hmm, they played Electra 10 1. Okay, I'm a little sus of this deck in general. Not just because they played Electra, but mostly because they played Electra. Okay, yeah, I'm very sus of this deck now. They filled up 
their location completely. Hmm. Okay, that's that's unfortunate for us. It means we gotta do something a bit more drastic than I would have liked. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I, yeah, that was definitely a bot. Can't deny that, but I mean, we're gonna get some bots, so let's just get one more game in, okay? Now, there was a comment I got on my last video I did, but unfortunately it did end up getting deleted in the YouTube thing. See, YouTube filters comments that it thinks that I might get offended by, so it ended up getting deleted before I could actually submit it, but I did actually get to read it first, and it was basically saying that it's not, you know, that they didn't get to see the brilliance of the deck because um, I faced mostly bots, which I did, I did. So I'm doing, that's actually what prompted me to make this video. Oh, they're literally using the same card I did. Yeah, we can go ahead, Spider-Man, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that's fun. I like that. We literally used the same, oh, they abominationed, yeah. Okay, so I did not win the thing. Okay, I still did not win the thing. Okay, well. Okay, hmm. I mean, do I want to? I mean, I guess I could play my own abomination, technically. Or, better idea. Actually, I think this is a better idea. Yeah. Ah, I didn't expect them to move so many cards. Okay, they also changed that location. By the woman that we hit one card because they gave up on that location. Uh, that's a bit eerie that they snapped, but we're not going to snap because this is a video where we don't snap. Okay, we are going to play that. I didn't expect them to play there. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, I should have expected them to play there, but I didn't. It was my bad. I was trying to be cheeky. Okay, guys, welcome to our final, final, final game. I know I say that a lot, but yeah, that's the final game for this thing. Okay, so they do have Doctor Doom. I do gotta keep that in mind. Let's see, add five power doom bots to each location. Okay, that. I guess that's okay. No, no, no. We actually rather play Jeff here. Yeah, because we don't want to get bogged down. Okay, we definitely are glad we played Jeff because Jeff can actually move. And that is good. Okay, so see, that's the downside of this deck, that stuff like that can happen and does happen quite a lot to us. So, yeah, there's actually a good chance of them actually, why would they do that? Okay, see, now I'm beginning to question their um, legitimacy. Because they, they literally did that to themselves. Yeah. 
War machine. Oh, war machine. War machine is interesting, actually. War machine let them play anything anywhere. Huh. Okay. I wonder what they would have done with War Machine, though, honestly. Yeah, I wonder what they would have done. I'm keeping a mental note of all the bots I see, and I don't know. I'll keep it in the video, guys, but Eagle Eyes might be a bot. I don't know. They played War Machine on 10.5, which is... A pretty interesting play, but they literally played Super Scroll to take the Ebony Maw um, ability, which made it so they couldn't play cards there when they normally would have been able to. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys think Eagle Eyes is a bot or not comment section below but this is going to be the last video regardless i will catch you guys in the future later